Hello folks, this is Zach, aka Omega Server Moon. Just showing you a video of me playing Domination on Skid Row. And I'm speeding this up, this part up, because uh, people weren't actually... They weren't playing, I guess they left the lobby, or, or they probably got disconnected. And this probably went on for like about two minutes. And, it, and plus it wasted my time on the video, so it's a good thing... I sped it up so it will be able to fit in YouTube with a, a 10 minute limit thing. So yeah, I'm not really sure why they left, uh, probably, I'm not sure, I think we played with them for, I don't know, two other matches, I get, we won like so many times and my friends that I'm playing with, they were really good, you know, I'm not sure what prestige that my friends were but they got, they would always get, uh, emergency airdrops on this thing uh, on this game and okay I guess right here things started to get a little more serious probably new people had joined and so we try to spawn trap them at their flag and which I'm probably not really good at because even though I know where they're spawning at since they captured you know C it's easier said than done because when it comes to me trying to spawn trap, it's like uh, a bunch of their teams coming at me and probably I'm not even shooting right, I just panic and uh, I tend to miss a lot and I guess I'm waiting for that guy right here just to knife him no, I start shooting at him, I shouldn't knife them but I had commando, I mean I should have I could have knifed them right there but instead I shoot him with my uh, Rafika, I'm not sure yeah, Ra the Rafika, I was just trying to get a Kimbo for this gun, because I love this gun. It shoots straight forward. And I fail right there, got using the shotgun. You know, shotguns totally beat other guns when you're up close. Unless you're a really good player and you know what you're doing. Unlike me. So, um, I actually wanted to uh, let you guys know a little bit more about myself. Uh, as I said, uh, probably on my first commentary I'm 18 years old I'm still in high school I'm about to graduate about like one more month and see yeah and I'm um, I'm Mexican even though if I don't sound like it was never never taught Spanish well I was but like when I was little okay like yeah when I was little uh, my mom would talk Spanish and I would copy her and I was learning Spanish that way but then when she started hanging out hanging around with her sister since she moved in uh, they would both talk English a lot and um, I guess I started copying her talking in English and pretty much forgot everything that I learned about Sp uh, talking in Spanish but you know I don't I don't blame her for that I think it's I'm kind of glad I talked English because then I probably would have one of those weird accents or annoying accents that probably uh, other people would make fun of, you know. But yeah, it's kind of, to me I thought it was kind of sad not to learn your your own language, especially when it comes, you know, for me being Mexican. But, but it's alright, you know. I like I'm glad I'm talking in English. Probably wouldn't make it to school or anything. Uh, I would like to like uh, to learn other languages. Like one day, me and my brother wanted to learn Japanese. We would rent this uh, CD that would teach you everything about Japanese. Yeah, the Japanese language. And it was we thought it was uh, kind of idiotic. Like we would get embarrassed sometimes because my mom would, uh, she would always hear us talk in Japanese and she'd be like, what the fuck, be like, what are you guys doing? Like, giving us funny comments, we would get uncomfortable with it, so we continued listening to the CD until we had to return it. And we didn't really want to renew it or anything because, you know, we didn't want to go through being made fun of and 
Yeah, so we just left it at that and just stuck with talking in English, learning a little bit of Spanish. Uh, I know a little bit of Spanish is not a lot. It's like, I can understand what they're telling me most of the time, but I can't reply back to them in Spanish because I don't know how to, what to say in Spanish. I can't pronounce it. And like, my accent for Spanish is like, uh, horrible. I, I can't do... I can't say the the R, you know, when they roll their tongue with the R. It's like, oh, I'm talking like a five-year-old, you know. And I wish I can I can at least do that instead of not speaking Spanish at all. But I don't know. Maybe I'll keep practicing one day. Keep doing that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just I think I was on the phone right here, like. This guy was really pissing me off when I was talking on the phone. It was those dad damn advertisements. About advertisements. I really, really hate advertisements because it's like, the you know, they call you, telling you all kinds of this bullshit that they, I don't know, some free internet or free TV, wireless dish network or some shit like that. It's like, I don't need that. We already have TV. Like, we already got direct TV and cable uh you know we don't need anything else free like cell phones or whatever you know i, I know ads are okay for like video games i think they should just stick to for video games cars and uh i don't know and some music they should at least leave it at that not for little toys for kids because you know when you buy toys for kids they probably have, they have high expectations, like, they don't just want this toy, they want another toy that would probably go with it, or, or whatever. And that's like, I don't really like ads, plus some, the ads today, I think I find them quite annoying. I don't really, I don't know, that I like that they would do commercials for them, you know, way back then. Because back then, you know, well probably even today, little kids think, that the commercials for a new toy or a new game is uh they're pretty cool they're like oh I, I like that commercial because of how it looks and i want that toy but I, I don't know that's what i used to think when i was little i would always buy something because of the commercial and not just because the toy is really really good so yeah um I guess I got off the phone a little later off that and started playing serious here. Capture A and book it right there. And I guess the guys are shooting me. He kills me first, but I, my C4 got him right after I died. Should have gotten an afterlife for that at least, but I guess it was too soon. And um, just running around, I throw my C4 up there and see if I get anybody, and I don't. Usually I do get some kills right there. Just, they're probably just. They're probably smart for uh, not hanging around in the halls, uh, which I tend to do a lot. I mean, I remember having a tip where you're not supposed to run around the in the middle of the hall through that room because you tend to get killed a lot. There probably will be somebody at the stairs where people will snipe or just randomly shoot to see if they can get a kill. And I heard that guy jump down from that building, but. I usually, when I do see or hear somebody from behind me, I just run to see if they won't notice me or if I am able to run away without getting shot. But I guess I got unlucky there, so I died. And so I guess I'm running back to see if I can capture C, but I get knifed. And I, technically that guy got commando as well. And usually I don't uh, pay attention to the third perk that I get because... Uh, most third perks that I find are they're not really helpful to me because um, I they don't really like I don't really tend to get into situations when it comes to third perk like hit fire I don't really do hit fire much because I have a habit of aiming first and then shooting when I should just you know practice uh, hit fire you know probably get hit uh, what is it? Steady aim pro, probably. But well, I did. I do have ninja pro and commando pro, 
I guess it's because I would always go for the for the um, experience points. And right here, I got pretty lucky killing two guys right here. And I think I get my yeah, I get my predator missile. I wanted to use it right away, but the game ended, and I got really pissed off. But at least we won, and we got I got a ton of experience points for that. And I think I went equal here, 18 18. I'm not sure if my screen's kind of blurry. Well, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.